The purpose of this video is to highlight the events which led to the crash landing of flight SAS-751. This video will also look at the communication and ethical problems which could have caused this disaster. Let us first look at the sequence of events which led to the emergency crash landing. Flight 751 was a passenger flight from Stockholm, Sweden to Copenhagen, Denmark. The night preceding December 27, 1991, there was snow and rainfall which caused the creation of clear ice. The flight crew consisted of First Officer Ulf Sedermark and Captain Stefan Rasmussen. Initially, Captain Rasmussen inspected the plane and asked the ground crew to de-ice for a second time. The ground crew de-iced the plane and informed the captain that he was cleared for takeoff. After a normal takeoff, within seconds of leaving the runway, the crew heard loud unfamiliar noises emanating from the right engine. Captain Rasmussen attempted to lower the trust of the right engine as he was trained in the emergency of surging. Moments later, the right engine burst into flames. Shortly after, the left engine suffered the same fate as shown here in this picture. With no power, the plane is now free-falling. The captain identifies an area for an emergency crash landing. The crew then announces to the passengers that there is an emergency crash landing and the plane is crash landed. On impact, the plane is broken into three pieces as shown in the picture. Miraculously, everyone survives the crash landing. The investigation which followed revealed that clear ice was still present on the wings. The ground crew were inadequately equipped to properly ensure that all the clear ice was removed. After takeoff, the clear ice on the wing broke off and entered the right engine. This dented the fans obstructing the airflow and caused surging in the engine. When the captain attempted to lower the trust, a system implemented by the manufacturers known as Automatic Trust Restoration or ATR, without the manu manufacturers informing the pilots, this system raised the trust to a level that caused the engine to be destroyed. We will now investigate the communication and ethical issues. Firstly, it was neglect on the part of the ground crew who failed to properly ensure that the airplane was properly de-iced. The ground crew also showed a disregard for human safety by not having the proper equipment to ensure that their job were performed properly. The lack of communication between the airplane manufacturers and the air airlines played a major role in this disaster. Had it been known that the ATR system was implemented, this disaster could have possibly been avoided. On a positive note, the crew showed great professionalism and a great deal of commitment to duty. Thank you for looking at this video.